Welcome to Adulting with Joyce Spring. Watch the full video of this episode on my channel, www.youtube.com slash TV. And if you want to level up your adulting game, check out joyspring.com slash collections for my digital products and courses. How do we foster then, I guess, a healthy dialogue when it comes to these things? Definitely, we need to be respectful then eh, to those people. You get shove it on to them now okay you have to believe this and it, it, it doesn't work like that only god can change their hearts so if you feel like if you see that it's getting hostile they're reacting or they're saying no 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 we're not ready for that what to eat my recommendation is don't force it because uh, i mean god is the one who's gonna change the person's heart maybe not that time because if you it it doesn't really work uh, family member mo. That is something that we need to expect because the gospel is, uh, uh, it's always repulsive towards a self-centered heart. First Peter chapter four tells us that we, we na, na hindi mo kailangan surprise if you, you're going to suffer, you will be persecuted. Uh, so yeah, just like what Marty said, then expect that, and if that happens, uh, just pray. Pray that what you've started, hopefully the Lord can start to marinate your heart ng person na yun. And if you'll help her, kapag kuman man na si ate, si kuya, pag nakakain na ng pansit, uh, they, they start offering coke and just say, are you okay? Can we, you know? Uh, so be there, be there. Siguro yun, yun yung ano to, kailangan i-expect natin. I want to ask Michelle, kasi in the context naman of campus missionary, di ba, I... I'm sure you meet all sorts of different people, different backgrounds, diba? And I'm sure na yung mga students dito would also like to share, not just with their families and the people that they know already, but even to strangers that they get to meet, diba? So how would you create that healthy dialogue? Especially, you know, we live in a quote-unquote Christian nation wherein ibang-iba yung beliefs ng mga tao. And sure na sure sila doon, but they also might want to open that conversation or dialogue. Yeah, actually, in, in campus, we do what we call random evangelism. But I don't like calling it random because there's nothing naman random with God, diba? So we'd approach stu- like students and ask them like uh, a question. Tapos, if open sila, then go. Pero if not, then we'd still open that opportunity to build a relationship. So I think, reality naman, rejection is real, diba? Pero, <laughs> pero, I think, parang, we shouldn't be discouraged or afraid. Real naman, nakataka talaga, ma-reject ko. Pero, parang, we shouldn't be discouraged kasi, na- I'll never forget yung natuturin ko sa campus ministry na, um, sharing the gospel is simply taking the initiative to share Jesus in the power of the Holy Spirit and leaving the results to God. So, parang, you've done your part if, once you've shared, like, regardless of what their response is, parang, Si Lord na yun, di ba? Pero narealize ko, parang one thing that could help is listening talaga, asking questions, um, probing kung ano ba yung background nila. And if, whether or not they accept, you can still build a relationship, maybe in time. I, I, ano yun, parang gusto ko yung image na we're, if we're planting seeds, ba? maybe that opportunity is us tilling the soil and preparing the heart of the person to accept Jesus in the near future. Pero hindi siya waste, kahit na, let's say, hindi sila mag-respond or hindi sila mag-accept. Kasi, you're telling this person's heart, you know, and opportunity siya. Maybe you can ask, how can I pray for you? And pero I, I realize, um, okay, toto talaga yung prayer, kasi um, God's also gonna work in your heart not to think that it's because of you that they'll accept him, or it's because of you that they accept him. So parang the end of the day, humbling ourselves, then and really um, interceding for them and giving, entrusting them to the Lord, whoever, whomever we're sharing. So yeah, and I think the one of the core principles or convictions of uh, or, or what what we actually celebrate during Christmas is the the miracle of the incarnation right when Christ uh, took on flesh and dwelt among us through the virgin birth so I think in that same way tayo rin, dapat incarnational rin tayo na ibig sabihin we not only speak the gospel but we actually display the gospel through our lives you know? so uh I, I like what Michelle said na, you know, kamustahin mo na. Diba? You actually showed them who Christ is through your very own actions. So, ibig sabihin po, hindi po kayo yung mauuna sa buffet, sa table. Kayo po yung huli kasi Christ is the slave of all. Diba? Tayo mga kristyano, tayo yung slave of all. Diba? 
So, kung wala na buhugas ng pinggan, ikaw na. Di ba? So that, you know, mag- magtataka talaga yung mga tao. <laughs> ano nangyari dito? Christian. Ayun. Tapos pag tinanong nila, I am a Christian. Di ba? I was born again. Di ba? So, I think those are f- a few of the examples na in Christmas or actually all throughout the year, dapat incarnation na tayo, we're the hands and the feet and the very mouthpiece of Jesus so that when the time comes, pagka may reunion na, especially Christmas, di ba? May, uh, meron ka nang, ano, na, na iambag sa kanila. Di ba? So you have that connection already and I think that's what, uh, kumbaga, what uh, fertilizes the soil. Di ba? What tills the soil before you plant those gospel seeds that you actually establish relationship already with them and you were a faithful example of Christ. There's a quote that goes, uh, people will forget what you say to them, what you made them think, but they'll never forget how you made them feel. And I think that's so true. I mean, we are called to Christ-likeness. Why? To display that Christ-likeness. Diba? Not to bring glory unto ourselves, but to bring glory unto God. And so the way that we spend our time, the way that we love others, the way that we serve others, na dati sumisingit ka sa buffet, ngayon, hindi, bigyan ko kayo ng plate. Gusto mo kuha kita ng dessert? Nangyari sa kanya, uh, it really, no, not it, hindi yung dati ako yung nang, ano, nang sisingit sa buffet. No, but my disciple, imagine my disciple, we were at the buffet, just to think about it. And she sat, she could, she didn't sit down until everyone was served drinks. Hiyang hiya ako. She went to me and to my mom-in-law and to her husband and to my husband. She's like, ano gusto mong drinks? And she brought it. And I was like, that's the kind of yielded heart the service that I want to become because it shows Christ-likeness even in the most simplest ways. That's it for this episode of Adulting with Joy Spring. If you liked this podcast, please don't forget to use the hashtag Adulting with Joy Spring and also check out www.joyspring.com for the show notes and tag me on social media with you know it, at Joy Spring. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Paalam!